Hello, David A. Rogers here. I want to show you something I think is really cool inside of Photoshop. Watch this. I've got a clock face here. It's got no numbers on it, so I need to draw some spaces for the numbers to be in. So I'm going to use circles all the way around. I've selected my ellipse tool. I've made sure my options are set to draw a shape only. I click and drag to start drawing. Hold the shift key to constrain the proportions that makes it a circle. Okay, it's not in exactly the same or exactly the position that I want. So I'm going to go on to edit, free transform path. And I like to use a free transform path because as you can see, it helps me snap it to the guides that I've already got on my document. I'm going to press return to accept that transformation. Now I want to rotate a few more around the actual clock face. So if I go over to edit, free transform path again, I can move this center point and that will change how the object rotates. Well, obviously rotating around itself is not going to help me, but I can move that actually outside of the document. And if I slap it right in the center of my clock there, then it's going to rotate it around the clock itself. Now, if I hold the shift key, it'll constrain it to 15 degree increments, which is extremely helpful. Press the return key to accept that. And I don't know if you saw why we were under the edit menu. Transform path again is available to us. So let's shift command T and I'm pressing shift command T all the way around here. The problem is it's only transforming the exact same object all the way around. I want to create 11 more of them. Here's the hidden gem. Press the option T at the same time. So shift command option T does exactly the same transformation. Shift command option T makes a duplicate and I've got my shift command option already down. I just press T, 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 T all the way around until I've got my 11. That's my hidden gem, it's the option key.